with the divisions. We have understood cell cycle. Now we'll start with the types of divisions. So types of cell division. There are three types. First, a mitosis. Second, mitosis. And third is meiosis. A mitosis is known as direct division. And once we understand how this division takes place, we'll realize why this direct word is given to this. Mitosis is called indirect division. And there are a few more terms given to this mitotic division. It is also known as equational division. Mitosis is also known as equational division. The reason why it is known as equational division is because when one parent cell divides, the two daughter cells are genetically, that means chromosome number wise, exactly identical as the parent cell. That is why equational, because the chromosome number is same. 46 if is in the parent cell, the daughter cells will also have 46 policies. Meiosis is known as reduction of division. And reductional division means chromosome number is getting reduced to half. So this division helps in gamete formation. We will talk of all these three divisions in detail starting with amitosis. So let us see what exactly happens in amitosis. Now amitosis as we said direct division. It is completed in two steps. Karyokinesis. Karyokinesis is nuclear division and next is cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is cytoplasmic division. Karyokinesis, nuclear division, takes place without spindle fiber formation. Without spindle fiber formation and even the nuclear membrane remains as it is. So nuclear membrane remains intact. Remains intact because when we talk of regular uh, cell division that is mitosis it is nuclear membrane which dissociates nucleolus dissociates, chromas, chromatin fibers, they start to condense, all those changes are there. And then these chromosomes are pulled by spindle fibers. So here, uh, spindle fibers are also not formed, nuclear membrane also doesn't dissociate. Then, how is this nucleus going to divide? It divides by simple constriction. So, nucleus divides by constriction. So let us draw a cell. Say this is a cell and this is the nucleus. The first stage is a constriction is going to appear in the nucleus. The cell remains like this. Because of this constriction, the nucleus divides into two and simultaneously now the cytoplasm also starts showing constriction and now this is going to get deeper and deeper. This divides into two daughter cells having these chromosomes. So now this constriction is deeper and there are two daughter cells formed. The nuclear membrane was as it is no spindle fiber formation. So you actually see the nucleus splitting and that is why it is known as a direct division. So if this is the nucleus, there's a constriction and it breaks into two parts. So because we visibly, see, uh, uh, changes are visible, we see those changes in splitting or constriction of nucleus, we call this process a direct division. And then cytoplasm also divides by constriction. 
So this is also by constriction. Now let us talk of the cells where this division takes place. Few bacteria, cyanobacteria, sometimes in yeast also and amongst higher organisms cartilage cells the cells of cartilage plus the cells of extra embryonic membranes cells of extra embryonic membranes that is, we are talking of extra embryonic membranes like amnion, chorion, allantois and so on. Plus, if we are talking of plants, then endosperm cells. And the same kind of division is also reported in diseased and old cells. Diseased cells and old cells also undergo this kind of division. So here are the examples or that is the cells in which this division can be seen. But the division is completed in two process or two steps karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Karyokinesis is splitting of nucleus without any spindle fiber formation. Spindle fiber without spindle fiber formation nuclear membrane remains as it is nucleus divides by simple constriction and then cytoplasm also undergoes constriction. So we have shown this in this diagram. If this division has one drawback because when the nucleus undergoes constriction, so if this is the nucleus, the constriction is going to be like this and this divides. The chances are that 50-50 or equal distribution of chromosome might not take place which is the normal case so here the drawback of this process is unequal distribution of chromosomes unequal distribution of chromosomes in the two daughter cells because it is taking place by only constriction normally it takes place in the middle but still it is just a constriction. So if it takes place towards one of the side, then the distribution is not going to be equal. But in other regular divisions, the chromosomes come on the equatorial plane, half of the chromosomes go towards one pole, half go towards other pole. So this ensures that there is proper or equal distribution of chromosome. So this is the drawback of this division. Amitosis, and these are the cells where we find this kind of division. Same, two steps, karyokinesis and cytokinesis. But because we are seeing that constriction, this amitosis is also termed as direct division. Because you are actually seeing that constriction happening. Now in the next segment, we will start with the next division that is mitosis.